Hello, I'm David Sturgis. I'm a lung cancer patient and a co-founder of Lung Cancer Foundation of America. We're here today for Hope with Answers, and joining me is Dr. David Carbone. May I call you David? Absolutely, David. Uh, 16 years ago, I was diagnosed by with a chance diagnosis of lung cancer by way of a uh, CAT scan. So early diagnosis of lung cancer is very dear to my heart. Can you tell us, please, and share with our our audience the importance of an early diagnosis of lung cancer. Early diagnosis of lung cancer is important because it allows patients to be detected when the cancer is still localized in their lung when it's most curable. And um, how, 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 what kinds of tests do we uh, undertake to try to uh, diagnose cancer in, lung cancer at an early stage? So it has recently been shown that doing uh, annual low-dose CT screening in high-risk populations can reduce the risk of death from lung cancer by 20%, which is huge. And what is that high-risk population? So the population that's currently defined as eligible for CT screening is heavy smokers, uh, more than uh, 50 years old, and uh, who have quit less than 15 years ago. So it can be current and former smokers. Then. Correct. Okay. And what types of the, the, the testing then? Can you give us a quick idea what that testing involves? A low-dose CT scan is less than one minute on a table with very low radiation exposure and gives a very clear picture of what's going on in the lungs that help your doctor decide whether you might have an early lung cancer. The, the CT scan aside, are there other forms of uh, um, screening that are available or on the horizon for lung cancer? Well, the high-risk patients defined, as I was telling you earlier, really are only a subset of patients who get lung cancer. And people who've had one lung cancer should certainly be screened regardless of their risk category because prior lung cancer is certainly a risk for subsequent lung cancers. But other things such as radon exposure and family history of lung cancer increase your risk of having lung cancer, but not, are, are not currently criteria used for payment of CT screening. This has been very helpful, David. Thank you for joining us for Hope With Answers.